my hair out of a towel so it looks really crazy but i wanted to go ahead and start off this vlog i'm filming a week in my life this week and i just took my hair out of a, a towel i just got out of the shower i worked out this morning i made my protein coffee which i have shared before which protein i use and what milk i use i'm about to brush my hair and i have like a ton of new products well they're new to me to try out basically um i recently just helped my best friend taylor clean out her like beauty and she's such a product junkie it's really funny i just helped her clean out a lot of her hair care beauty stuff and she has extensions and i don't and a lot of the hair care products that she had you can't use on extensions she gave me a bunch of products to try out and have and use some of them are definitely half used but they're new to me i'm grateful to try these products um there's one specific product that i wanted to try and i'm scared that it might turn my shirt a different color or dye it a different color they're these igk leave-in blonde toning drops and you like mix it with leave-in conditioner I'm probably gonna spray this drunk elephant tangle spray in i've used this before and then use the kerastase product that i've had before the serum it's just their serum i can link it down below this is one of my favorite products you can use it on wet and um dry hair maybe i should like wrap a towel around me i'm scared it's gonna stain my shirt <laughs> apply one to four drops it's just purple it looks like purple shampoo Okay, so we'll see how that blow dries and what it looks like, but I'm gonna go ahead and walk through my skincare routine. So first, I'm using the Juice Beauty Vitamin C Serum. I really love this stuff. My um, skincare routine hasn't changed since I shared it like a month ago, and I've been using the, I just figured out how to say this brand name. It's Osea, and I've been using all of their skincare products, and this is the Hyaluronic C serum i'm literally almost out and i have been loving their products i'll link everything down below that i'm using by the way so next i'm using the road peptide glazing fluid next i'm taking the ordinary caffeine solution for underneath my eyes next we're gonna go in with the osea Cbiotic water cream and i've been loving this it's almost out as far as sunscreen, I picked this up a few weeks ago and I think it gave me little bumps, but I'm not sure if it did or not. So I kind of want to try it again. It's tinted, but I also love the Elta MD. I do want to get the Elta MD tinted. It's like red right there. So I'm going to use this today. Next, I'm going to do my brows. I've done this. I've shown this a million times. I haven't decided if I'm going to put on a little bit of makeup today because I do want to go and get my nails taken off because they're really grown out. I'm not going to get them done again right now. So I really want to get them taken off and then I'll be good to go. But that's basically the only errand that I have. And then I'll obviously fill you guys in on how that product dries in my hair because I'm going to blow dry my hair and probably just straighten it. I don't know. Maybe I should have added more drops and like sectioned off my hair. I don't know. It's all a, a trial and error game. So okay i just got my nails taken off and these are my real nails they're so long i'm about to cut them when i get home because i can't <laughs> nails this long but anyways just wanted to update you because they're off
um, it's actually Wednesday night. It's 5.30. I didn't really vlog at all today. I kind of like go in and out of moods. It's really weird. I think it's just like the whole job search thing. I started receiving emails saying that they're the jobs that I applied for, they're moving forward with other candidates. So it's just kind of like getting to me some days. And I also started my period yesterday. I'm just like on an emotional roller coaster. So um, I do have one update. The job that I'm like really, really, really wanting, I followed up today and she said that she's going to call me early next week. So I won't have an update on that for a few days. Um, I'll probably still apply to jobs tomorrow still search the only thing is is like it's now starting to just be like a waiting game i there's not really that many more jobs that i'm interested in that i want to apply for so i'm kind of just waiting for the jobs that i did apply for for them to respond so um kind of just deleting going through and seeing which emails um i have for which jobs that I applied for that are still active. So I'm going through my emails for that, deleting the ones that I no longer should keep an eye out for. So that's an update um, on that. But I just got ready because Christian and I are going to dinner with my family. Um, my cousins are in town from Indiana and they leave this week. And the whole family, like my nephews and nieces and everyone, we're all getting together to go to dinner with them. But anyways, I'm gonna put on some shoes and then we'll head to dinner. Okay, it's around 11.15. I'm gonna go lay out by the pool for like an hour or two. Um, and I wanted to share my favorite sun products. I love this sunscreen for my body. I use the Bally Body Watermelon Tanning Oil over top of that. It does have a little bit of SPF in it, but not enough. So I put this on underneath it and then I wear this Ulta MD on my face. This is my all-time favorite face sunscreen. Doesn't give me little bumps, doesn't make me break out. It's so good. And then I just use the Aquaphor on my lips to protect my lips, but I'm also gonna be wearing a hat. I just self-tanned, it's later. I'm gonna share all my self-tanning tips and what I use because it is my most asked question, believe it or not, what I use for self-tanner. I'm gonna share it tomorrow when I look a little less crazy. My neck is a completely different color than my face because I don't self-tan my face with my body self-tanner. So I'll share it tomorrow when I look less crazy, but um, it's around 3.45 and I'm gonna make my smoothie, so I'm gonna pull out all the ingredients and I'll share with you guys what it is because it's so good and I've been making it like every day. Here are all the ingredients, just some spinach. I'm gonna add kale this time. Then this so delicious dairy-free coconut yogurt. I'm using the unsweetened vanilla. I use about like four spoonfuls of this in there. It's so good. And then I use two cubes of frozen crushed ginger i bought this from trader joe's but i'm pretty sure most grocery stores carry this so i keep that in my freezer and then the main fruit of choice is going to be mango i got this from trader joe's i'm going to do half a frozen banana and then some of this collagen powder but any collagen powder will do maybe like a cup cup and a half of mango handful of spinach Almost four spoonfuls. Scoop of collagen. And then I just do water and a little bit of ice in it.
hello it's friday i am rushing out to go take my car to get serviced it dinged at me like a few days ago saying that i need to bring it in so i scheduled an appointment and what they had was 9 a.m so i'm gonna rush over there christian's gonna follow me to come pick me up okay sorry it's like hard to record and drive i feel like my camera just shakes but yeah so i'm going there to drop my car off it'll probably take like a few hours so christian's gonna follow me there and um then i'm probably gonna come back i'll show you guys my self tanner and my self tanning routine and kind of like walk you through it and then i'm probably gonna deep clean the apartment this afternoon before tonight so that's the plan for today just got home from dropping my car off to get it serviced um i'm gonna show you guys my self tanning routine because i feel like it comes out pretty pretty good i could never get this tan naturally so that's why i do self tan plus it's just better for your skin over time and i feel like my self tanning routine i feel like it gives off just like a really good color and i think it's because of the products that i use and how i apply it and um the layering process if that makes sense so what i do first is i don't sleep in a tan mousse i sleep in a tan lotion but i'll get more into that so what I've been using for a while now is the Bally Body One Hour Express. So I put this on with a mitt and this mitt needs to be cleaned, but looks like this. And I always clean it before every use of this. This is the dark one and it's a one hour express. So you can leave it on for one hour for light. What I do is I leave it on for three to four hours, depending on how much time I have. So usually what I'll do is I'll apply it at nighttime once I get home from work, which I'm not working right now, but once I get home from work, that's when I'll do it. So I exfoliate the night before, about 24 hours before I will apply the tan. So I exfoliate, shave, and I exfoliate with these um, Korean skincare mitts. These are really good at removing your tan and removing the dead skin and prepping for shaving and then applying your self tanner so i'll link these down below these are really good and they come in a big pack and you only need to change out your exfoliating mitt like every month so it lasts for literally years the only con about this is that it does dry really fast so i know valley body sells a specific mitt for this specific tanner but i just use this mitt and i do it really quickly um but the color is more green greenish brown toned than it is orange brown toned so i think that's the good thing about this because it's not going to be orangey so it's not going to dry orange or develop orange it's going to develop more olivey and brown which is kind of what you want in a self tanner so you don't look orange so i use this and then once i rinse it off i'll get out of the shower dry myself off and then i'll apply the Lux unfiltered self tanning lotion so this is a gradual self tanner but i find when i layer these two it creates the most dark gorgeous looking self tan like i just got back from a beach vacation without having to lay outside for a long period of time so i've been loving mixing these and i've been doing it for honestly so long now i want to say over a year i've been layering these and these are just like my tried and true self tanning products and i've been self tanning for honestly years i don't really tan in the sun because i can't get a good tan and i burn and freckle and i could honestly develop skin cancer probably easier than most i definitely shouldn't be laying out in the sun all the time that's why i love these products because they give me that look without having to be out in the sun and i can refresh it every week so it's like i'm always constantly coming back from a nice vacation so i'll apply this and i'll sleep in it and then i'll rinse it off in the morning and um, i've also used this to maintain my tan as well but i've never used this on its own to develop a tan so i'm not too sure how i don't think it would give me a very deep tan like what i'm looking for like this 
after one application or two applications. I think it definitely would take a few days, but these are my two products that I recommend. I apply this with a mitt and I'll apply it on my neck and on my hands and my feet with the Morphe M439 brush and I'll link this down below. Um, but I use this to apply it on my neck and then um, I'll use it on my hands as well. Sometimes I mess up my hands, but I think the trick that I've discovered is what I'll do is I'll save my hands for last and I'll wash my hands just in case any of the tanner gets on like this part. And then I'll put lotion immediately on them and let them dry. And then I'll take like the littlest bit on this brush and I'll go like this. Kind of curl my hand like this and get in each and every little crack. And then I rinse my hands after an hour of having the tan on. And you can see how dark they get after an hour. So... That's my tip, and the moisturizer that I use on my hands is just this one, the Lubriderm. I think that's about it. Those are all of the products that I use, and I will link everything down below so you guys can shop it and try it out for yourself, but going into the fall and winter time, I know people self-tan more. I do self-tan year-round, but I know people do self tan more in the winter than the summertime because people are out in the sun or on vacation. So I will link these down below. That's my self tanning routine. I get asked this question so often. So many people DM me asking how I'm so tan, what self tanner I use, and it's these products. So. and end off this week of my life here i'm going to start deep cleaning the apartment and just getting it all picked up cleaned up ready to go for the weekend i guess and then i'm gonna go pick up my car from the dealership so i'm gonna pick up my camera and start a new vlog tomorrow and i'll start a weekend vlog but i'm gonna take the rest of the day and just get everything together and stuff like that i cleaned out the fridge prepped some pineapple you know just got stuff together so i will pick up the camera tomorrow i'll see you guys in my next video i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you're subscribed give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys